<laughs> Let's move on now to Aramark, which is a global provider of food facilities and uniform services to education, healthcare, mm. business, industry, sports, leisure, blah, and. Blah. So uniforms, that's unusual. But hang on, the reason we're discussing this one, it's quite similar to Cisco. It's smaller, about a third of the size, but it's because Chris is going to go and visit them in a few months' time. But first you should Market tell Market cap, $9.1 billion. PE here, again, very similar to that of Cisco, sitting at 28.9, and a dividend yield of 1.1%. Why are you going to go and visit them? Well, no, I'm going to the CFA conference in Philadelphia, and they just happen to have their headquarters around the corner, so I thought, kill two birds with one stone, let's go and see what, what this one's about. And as soon as I saw this, I thought, this is very much like what I call America's bid vest, or, or bid corp, you know, for that matter. But over and above the food services side, as you've alluded to there, Bronwyn, you know, they're supplying a lot of other things as well, you know, things like um, uniforms. Uh, and even into correctional facilities, or as we would call them, prisons. Um, so, you know, that has to be uh, a, a good business in terms of annuity income. So there's a lot of annuity income, I think, coming in from Aramar. It's had a bit of a checkered history going, going way back. But in the past few years, I think it's done, done pretty well. We love annuity income as an investment theme and mm. uh, creating that strong moat around the, the company. Yeah. It's $9 billion from a market cap perspective, so considerably smaller than Cisco. A lot smaller than Cisco. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, I mean, looking at the share price graph, it's not as, um, as impressive, shall we say, uh, as Cisco. As I say, you've had um, a little bit of margin compression coming through uh, this year, uh, but all the analysis I've seen suggests that's going to start moving, uh, moving, a bit, moving out a bit uh, in the course of the next year or so. So I think there's a lot of good things inherent in Aramark that uh, we're waiting to be exploited. Paul, do you agree? Good no, things in Aramark? These businesses are getting better and better. You know, the traditional business would have been, uh, you know, institutions, low margin, not all that much scope for innovation. But in recent times, what they've done is they've given iPads or web-based applications to their end customers. So they're getting this ability to now basically the customer, their best customer is like a, a trendy hipster restaurant that wants, you know, high end, high margin fillet steaks, for example. Then they can order exactly as many as they want on the app. Then it goes straight into their back end. Then the truck gets pre-packed with all the right stuff. RFID tags on everything, so there's but very that little strong underpin as we've been discussing of technology. Then the margin just goes higher and higher. So there's, I think, considerable scope for them to continue doing well. Um, the Pops? one interesting thing I think you must ask your uh, management types when you get there. I see a couple of years ago they sold out a managing controlling stake in Seamless. Now Seamless is one of those businesses which does. Um, door-to-door -door delivery yep. of foodstuffs prepared and otherwise. So it's an interesting thing to have gotten out of. I yes. would have thought that's the sort of thing you want to Is it called steak and seamless? No, it's just called just seamless. Called, uh, you seamless. said steak and seamless. They I was had confused a steak there. in seamless. Oh, they had a steak, <laughs> not a S-T-E-A-K. -E. <laughs> so why are they out of that one? I don't know, but that's something I'll be asking them. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to give Chris uh, no, a heads good. up to Thank ask the management much. team? <laughs> Hot? He's just around the corner from his hotel in Philadelphia. Sounds perfect. Hot nut. I'm going to go hot on them anyway. I just think the space is good. Aramark, before you see them, are you going hot or hot. not? Yep, definitely. They're probably going to really be much uh, <laughs> kinder to you on the entry point into their business. Send as them a, a video clip yeah, from exactly. the uh, CNBC <laughs> Africa website. A double hot.